Republican Congressman Rodney Davis still hasn't announced his plans for next year. He's waiting for Governor Pritzker to sign the new maps into law. But one of the Democrats and close allies of Governor Pritzker running to challenge him ran into some problems when she went to register to vote in Springfield. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell has that story. I'm Nikki Bozinski. In her campaign launch video, Democrat Nikki Budzinski boasts her ties to Champaign and Springfield, the two biggest cities in the newly drawn 13th Congressional District. I went to the University of Illinois, and after graduating, I moved to Springfield, where I started my career in public service. But if the election were held this Tuesday, she could not have voted for herself, because according to the Sangamon County Clerk's Office... We're required to send out a voter identification card. But when that card went to the apartment registered to Budzinski, it bounced back undeliverable. Why would it be returned... Mm -hmm. undeliverable if the person lives there. Well, it wouldn't be if they lived there. Can you can you do me a favor and look up the uh, Nikki Bazinski status of registration? I know we had that that scenario in which we had our voter ID card returned which prompted a suspension. As of right now, she is still in that suspended status. Okay. When the post office returned a voter registration card undeliverable, we came here to see if anyone might answer the door or if there was any sign that someone actually lived here. It would help if you lived here. Champaign Democrat David Palmer is running against Budzinski in the primary and says he's more in touch with voters in the district. I'm not visiting for the first time in 15, 20 years. I've been living here. You know, my, I raised my, my, my children here. While she recently moved back to Illinois from D.C., Budzinski voted at her home in Chicago in each of the last three elections. It was only after we brought her suspended voter status to her campaign's attention that she hurried into the clerk's office late this afternoon and provided proof of a new address at a home she's buying in Springfield. Now she's picked a place to live and vote. But she's facing accusations that Springfield Democrats picked her voters for her. You have a high-ranking member, former member of the governor's administration, who's decided to move back to Springfield, I don't know if she's actually ever lived in Springfield, move to Springfield and run for Congress and announce against a guy who got drawn out of that district. Last year, 50% of the 13th district voted to re-elect President Trump, but only 43% of next year's 13th voted for Trump, while 54% voted for President Biden. Would I'm, that be a sign that like the, the map was laid out for you? More Democratic voters are always great, but I will say I'm not taking anything for granted. Reporting in Springfield, Mark Maxwell. And we did find records found with Sangamon County that show Nikki Budzinski is now the pending owner of a new home in Springfield.